friends we know that convection is the process of heat transfer from one place to another by actual movement of the molecules today we will perform a very simple experiment that will illustrate the phenomenon of convection we'll take a small glass container with a tight lid we are going to make two holes on the lid one big hole and the other one is a small hole now the big hole should be big enough that a straw exactly fits into the hole so heat the knife enough in the candle flame for the small hole we make use of the divider because this hole needs to be really tiny put the straw inside the big hole make sure that the base of the straw doesn't touch the base of the container so leave a little bit of space uh, at the bottom now from the top just leave little portion of the straw visible on the top and cut the rest of it just to ensure that there is no leakage from this area we seal this area with dough now we'll fill this small container with some boiling hot water mixed with dye make sure that you close the lid very tightly such that there is no leak anywhere now we have taken another long transparent container filled with cold water so what we are planning to do is we'll put this small container inside the big container now as you see that the base of this big container is not smooth so for that purpose we will make use of this cap on and we will put it here so that this can act as a smooth platform for this small container what do you see you see the ink solution is coming out of the straw and it is moving upwards now why does that happen now hot solution is less dense therefore it moves up the molecules of the solution themselves move and therefore transfer heat from one place to another and this is convection so this simple experiment very clearly illustrates the phenomenon of convection now you might ask that what was the purpose of making the second tiny hole over the lid of the container well this hole allows air to move into the small jar so that the pressure created may moves the solution out of the straw now as this process of convection continues you would see that this process of convection would continue only as long as the difference in temperature exists so after some time water and the solution they both reach the same temperature that is the entire system attains equilibrium and therefore the heat transfer stops that is convection stops i hope you like the video like and share the video do not forget to subscribe to our channel because we keep uploading many such interesting videos every day 